Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Hypermind modded server. We're playing the FTB Revelation pack. And who are we on with? Let's bring back the HUD. Take a look. We're on with Armitage. JB and Captain Q were on earlier, but they've had to head out. So let's turn around here and we'll start the progress. I, I figured it was probably about time for a progress update. So first things first, let's check the inventory. We've got some new tools to take a look at. We've got a shuriken, a pickaxe, and a cleaver. And then if we look in our inventory here, we can see a lot has changed. We've got some flux infused armor, and that's, well, it, it takes a while to craft, but if you want to see how to craft that, there's a little plug for my Direwolf 20 series. Go check that out. I just recently put some of that together, and it's a great set of armor for at least this point in the game. We've got, uh, we're using RF to handle the damage on here so that we don't have to keep crafting armor over and over again or worry about getting a mending village or anyway. That's, that's all vanilla stuff. We've got modded. We can just replenish with RF. And I've got a couple of capacitors in my inventory that are set to charging worn items. So we've got 18 million RF in our inventory just to charge each of these pieces, which hold 800,000 RF. So not too shabby. We've also got an angel ring. Uh, that's, that came, uh, well, we got that a couple days ago. And that's where this death came from as well. I was testing out the ring of the flying squid to see if I could get falling was it feather falling? Um, word of warning, it doesn't give you feather falling. The ring of the flying squid, no, no feather falling. Yeah, so that was a science thing. And there we go, that's why I still have that up. And one of the first things I did after I got the angel ring was to get another angel ring. So we've got a backup just in case. Yeah, so other than that right here, let's take a look at these tools real quick. Manual and paper cleaver, we have built this one up to have beheading four. And then I've also embossed it with silver so that it does a little bit more damage against the so-called undead mobs. Zombies, skeletons, wither skeletons especially. That's what we've been doing. Electrum pickaxe. This has helped me get the manulin for this cleaver. And then we've got a decent enough shuriken. It's a good long range. Probably could get a better bow than this, but I like having the shuriken. And oh, I didn't know fizz bolt was even on huh I, I didn't see if his bolt show up yeah anyway this right here 6.25 attack damage we've got two more modifiers that we can build up on it and then about halfway through on the XP to get some more modifiers but but yeah I think that's pretty much it for for those oh a thing of note here I've got this diamond backpack and this has so iron chest transporters and also my repair, my, my tool station repair. So if I'm mining, then I just pull out the tool station and then throw the tool on there. But I, I need to show you something. So we've got this, it's a demonic broadsword. Throw that in there, right? Okay. And then we put the demon ingot on there and notice that we've got nothing over here. Do you know why that is? I would expect that this would uh, you know, repair it, but it's not doing it. And I don't know, I don't know what is going to repair this broadsword. I, I really don't. So if you have an idea about what I might need to do to repair this broadsword, do let me know. I would love the input. Over here, we've expanded our storage some. Oh, out here, uh, the rain, the rain is not going away. I cleared out that slime island. Yep, just went to town with the RF Tools Builder, took that out, and I cleared something else out. I'll show you in just a moment. But also up here, we've got an empower from actually additions. We needed that so we can make some better storage or better storage crate. In particular, over here on what is a cursed earth mob farm using the mob grinding utilities. And let's see. So there we go. I guess you can't. Yeah, you can see it right there. It's a mob masher. And it, yeah, I picked that up. Okay. So we've got a mob masher there. We've got fans blowing the mobs into this line right here. And we've got a fan right here. And that's got distance upgrade. 
Uh, I probably should put another distance upgrade in there just to make sure all the mobs get to the mob masher. And then we've got an item vacuum from Embers right there. And that feeds everything into our large storage crate right here. And we've got three things. Yeah, three pages of inventory. So most everything is, the, I mean, it's turned off right now, but we still get the occasional spawn in there because I don't have everything fully lit up. But with these lights on, most everything is off. Or, yeah, it's not spawning anything. But we occasionally get some stuff in there. So this is plenty of storage. So if I don't sign on for a few days, it's not going to cause a major overflow. So we just need to make sure we keep that keep that in view or keep that, uh, be mindful of it. So, so yeah, that's, that's the thing. The other order of business is down here. We've got an elevator block. I cleared out down here as well with the RF tools builder and I put a void ore miner on here and let's see our progress thus far. The main thing I'm looking for right now is these erodium crystals so that we can get the crystal laser lens right here. It needs six blocks. Uh, yeah, there we go. And each block requires nine of those crystals. We've got two blocks right now. So we've got a little ways to go, but we'll just let that go. This whole area is chunk loaded and eventually I'll get a crystal laser lens so we can get those crystals in more quickly. And then maybe I'll make a different, uh, a different ore miner just for the regular ores, but we'll see. Main thing we're working towards is better power gen right now. The thermoelectric generators, I showed you those last time. They're working, but it's not quite going to be enough for our advanced rocketry and space ambitions. So we need to get to a solar array tier one. This requires litharite, which is rather expensive. If we take a look at the crystal, we can craft that. And I did for some of the early stuff, but... I would like to be able to get the void ore miner pulling that out so I don't I don't use up my diamonds. Yeah. So kind of selfish there. But I think that just about does it for all of the progress for this particular quote unquote episode. Hopefully you enjoyed this little progress update. And so the next time we're together, I need a better mob farm. So probably be looking at industrial foregoing on that because I want to I want to get the essence out of it. And then also have a little bit more control over the items that come out of that and throw away the stuff that we don't care about or do something with. I don't know what we'll do with it, but do something with it. We need we need overflow protection on that other than just having a really large storage crate on it. We also need better power gen and then also a better ore miner. So we're going to be working towards those things in the interim between now and the next time we're together. So hopefully you enjoyed this particular one. And if you've got any comments, questions, or suggestions, feel free to either leave those in the comment section down below or catch me on Twitter at MCSoapTheGreat or even there's a link in the description box below where you can, uh, you can take a look at a public Discord server that I've set up. So feel free to hit that link and come join me over there and continue the conversation. Love to have you. So if you have anything you want to just let me know, just pop in over there. It'd be great. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed, a like is always appreciated. And if you haven't done so already, think about subscribing so you're up to date with everything going on the channel. That's going to be it for now. Thank you once again. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.